The landfall process in the Bishong cyclone has begun near Baptala. Over 9,000 people have been evacuated along the Andhra Pradesh coast. This is the latest information that we are tracking for all our viewers. Of course, this is what we are being given to understand that the landfall process has begun. It is being witnessed in near the Baptala city in Andhra Pradesh. Over here, viewers, what I have on my screen, and I'm going to quickly request my PCR to quickly flash what I have on my screen over here. Right, absolutely. So what I have over here is an hourly update of severe cyclonic storm Mishong. This has in fact been issued by the Indian Meteorological Department. Uh, this was in fact issued at around 12.30 p.m. today. I'll quickly give you an understanding on what's been written over here. So with regards to the location slash latitude, longitude, the severe cyclonic storm Mishong over West Central Bay of Bengal along and off South Andhra Pradesh coast moved northwards with a speed of 10 kilometers per hour during past six hours and laid center at 11.30 hours IST on 5th December, which is of course today over the same region near latitude 15.45 and longitude. So of course, uh, lots and lots of information that's given over here uh, quickly taking a look at the current intensity near the center it is about 90 to 100 kilometers per hour gusting 200 and kilometers per hour of course with regards to pass movement moved northwards with a speed of 10 kilometers per hour during the past six hours forecast movement the system is likely to move nearly northwards and cross south andhra pradesh coast close to baptala during the next hours during the next two hours as a severe cyclonic storm with a maximum sustained wind speed of 90 to 100 kilometers per hour gusting 210 kilometers per hour landfall process is continuing and is likely to continue for the next three hours of course viewers this was issued at 12 30 it's now about uh, 120 so uh, a couple of more hours of the landfall process uh, so, of course, this is the report that has been issued, the hourly report that has, in fact, been issued by the IMD. My colleague Madhu Sharma joins us on the broadcast to give us more on this. Madhu, over to you. Yes, well, see, uh, the cyclone has passed Chennai and is now, you know, heading uh, towards the coastal Andhra Pradesh, where we are expecting at 2 p.m., uh, the landfall will be seen in the Bapatla district of Andhra Pradesh and uh, not only Bapatla district, other eight districts were also given a high alert by the IM <coughs> department and also the uh, Andhra Pradesh government. Districts like uh, Krishna district, Bapatla district, Godavari and Nelluru, Velluru, Vishakapattam and other, uh, you know, coastal, Srikakulam, Kakinada and other coastal adjoining districts were given a red alert and also uh, 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 SDRF and NDRM teams were deployed in several locations in Andhra Pradesh and uh, not to forget we've seen eight people how they have succumbed to death in Chennai because of the, you know, uh, tree, uh, tree uprootment, uh, uh, electrocution, uh, water range problem, people have flown in water. Okay, we seem to have lost Madhu over there, but joining us on the broadcast is Ms. Kavita Ashok. She's a climate expert. Good afternoon, ma'am, and thank you so much for joining us on NewsX. Now, of course, the couple of the, the forthcoming hours till about 2 p.m. is going to be extremely crucial. Uh, what do you make of this? I mean, how is it going to pan out in your opinion? <clears throat> See, the cyclone was earlier thought of to be a tropical cyclone, which is less severe. But I feel that uh, due to climate change and unpredictable things are happening, this uh, uh, cyclone was never expected in the month of December. We've never seen anything like this uh, so severe, so drastic at this point of time in the year. And now that it is here, it tells us to be uh, more aware about what we are doing to the environment because it's also one of the factors leading to this uh, you know the drastic and the the heaviness of the cyclone is also the heating up of the southern coast uh, of uh, Andhra Pradesh and uh, the Bay of Bengal of course has four cyclones every year and but but only tro tropical cyclones so what I'm trying to uh, say in um, you know uh, very clearly here is that it is some movement some man-made uh, 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 you know uh, actions that we are taking over the years which is causing such unpredictable uh, natural disasters so this cyclone is one of its kind 
and never seen before. I, the NDRF and other rescue teams are doing a great job. Even the chief minister was there in the morning, uh, and I'm sure everything will be under control. Although I'm uh, even Tamil Nadu uh, is uh, sort of in preparation because any time you know this can go much further down. Right, ma'am. Absolutely. Uh, but, but speaking of this, uh, you know, schools have been shut, offices have been shut. You can see that it's completely engulfed in water. What is uh, and you know, if if you in fact, if uh, the, our viewers can look at the visuals on our screen, you can see how people are helping other people amidst this crisis that is taking place in Tamil Nadu. So of course, uh, it's it's great to see that people are chiming in, helping each other. But but what kind of preparedness should I mean? What kind of preparedness should be installed so that you know everyone is safe, everyone is secure, and collateral damage is minuscule? See, to reduce the collateral damage, we'll have to look at the construction on the coastal areas, how houses are made, how strong they are, and whether they can withstand the the, the effect of, you know, uh, cyclones and typhoons. So, uh, there's a particular kind of construction we have to keep in mind. Then, uh, the sewage, and they should be, you know, should be very, very good in such areas because whenever water is collected, then it becomes a more of a nuisance for people to survive and even the teams are unable to do much because if everyone's floating around like you know people uh, animals uh, cattle and and even cars and buses so it becomes very difficult to manage such a uh, you know fiasco so i think uh, that the firstly our natural disaster teams should be very very efficient and prepared because we also saw how it happened just now in the uttarkashi tunnel collapse so one thing is coming after the other it gives us a big signal, a big sign that we are ruining our environment and climate change is here to stay. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.